Oh, Daddy's sleeping. I'm going to make breakfast for him. Yes, my princess. I'm sorry I almost burnt down the house. I just wanted to make breakfast for you like you do for me every day. It's okay, my love. Just that next time, don't try using the gas cooker by yourself. Okay? Okay, Dad. I'm your soldier. Anything you want, just tell me. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. I, I love you. You love me, we are happy family. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Circle three, ten, okay, ten. 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 Four, Four, twelve, twenty, sixteen. Hold on. Hello, John. What's up? I can't guess anything right now. My head is full. You don't mean it. Wow. You don't need to say, it, bro. That guy got on fresh finish. It's been like six years, right? Wow, nice. Nice. I can't wait to see him. He's throwing a party. Ah, full house. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, I just saw it now. You know I can't. We don't need a third party. We are fine the way we are. Another one will always come. Besides, I will see Eric around. Oh, quite sad. Being that I've been looking forward to seeing him. Uh, well, it is what it is. I can't leave my daughter by herself. Alright, so 
Uh -uh. Oh, you've done this one? Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, 34. to amaze me. Dad, I'm ready. Let's go. Who did this to you? How do I look? I said, who did this to you? I... I used mom makeup. You went to my room? Why? I just wanted to be a lady. Oh, gracious God. You're not yet a lady. You're still a child. Moreover, you cannot wear makeup to school. But Monsieur wears makeup to school. Sia is your teacher, and she's an adult. You can only wear makeup when you are older. And to be honest, you don't need to wear makeup. You're the most beautiful girl on earth. Really, Dad? Yes. You're my princess, and nobody comes close. Hmm? Give daddy a smile. <laughs> All right, come so you go wash these things off. Okay, dad, tell me how I look. I would rather not say it. You want us to try again? Yes. Okay, I'll be the one to hide. Okay, okay, let me count. One. <laughs> yes, come in. Hey, guys. What's going on? Why are the cold reception? Hi, Uncle John. Really? and uncle you've not seen in a while like that? Hmm. Good afternoon Uncle John, welcome. Although we weren't expecting you. Daddy, I'll be in my room. Alright, my princess. Which one I don't do again now? When I told you to stop making promises you cannot keep, you refused. Now, face the consequences. Because I promised I raised to watch. Something you know I always fulfill. Oh, God, why are you here? What's up? Well, as a good friend, I decided to come check up on you. I was around the neighborhood, so mm, said, guy, your friend is around, so okay, let me come check up on you both. Mm. Yep. Mm. Obadi is you. I know. I know you. 
What's in the kitchen? Don't be by no me. I don't have any hunger. Don't be here. Anything in the kitchen? Oliver. Nagango. You and Lila. <laughs> Thank God, sir. No my way to the kitchen. If you like bone. You and Lila, I'm on a bone. I go empty that kitchen for an andala. <laughs> My princess, take it easy, please. That is my results. Wow! This is wonderful! Thank you, Daddy. Oh, this is nice! Nara got second and she kept crying. Why is she crying? She didn't do bad at all. Moreover, you both have been topping the class consistently. Yes, she likes it when we get the same grade. And I feel bad anytime I see Nora cry. I don't want her to cry. She's my best friend. Ah, this is touching. Now tell me, Leila, why did you choose Nora as your best friend? Nora is smart, intelligent, and kind. Hmm. She's very kind. That's very nice. You know, I admire the friendship and love you both share. Thank you, Daddy. Dad, guess what? Tell me. Missia promised me a gift, and I intend sharing it with Nora. That's so thoughtful of you. And. Daddy will also get you and Nora a gift. Yay! Thank you, Daddy! <laughs> you both deserve everything beautiful. Yay! I got the best ever! And I got... I thought you were supposed to be looking after me. Yeah, more like a company. We're not babysitting you. And you're doing that like this? Doing that like this, how? I'm wondering if this is how someone is supposed to keep someone company. What do you want? I'm hungry. Again? What do you want to eat? Jello fries and chicken. Jello what? Jello fries and chicken. Why are you tormenting me? You just ate a minute ago. Science said it that peptide hormone increases when someone is less busy. I'm also wondering. Listen. I'm very terrible with cooking. I don't know how to cook. So just get that into your head now. I am a terrible cook. Not just in cooking, you're terrible at everything. Will you watch your mouth? Watch your mouth! You're talking to your uncle and you don't speak to him like that. Okay, I'll be waiting. Hey, 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 hey. Wahala. <laughs> it's okay.
Leila. Leila. Your food is ready. Oh. Oh. Your food is ready. My almost collapsed while waiting for this. I, I am sorry I have to take my time to prepare. Just a minute, let me get you water. Excuse me. Bad. Uncle John, why would you serve me this? I, I, I'm sorry, it wasn't intentional, okay? I did my best. Of course, it's just your typical you. Please, can I prepare something sure. else? No, don't worry, I'm not hungry. Let me make you something else now, please. No, Uncle John. Please, I can do Let it not be worse than this. I don't want. Manage. I followed that video to the letter. I made you every instruction I was following. Put this out, put this, put that. What? Fuck. I'm going to try. To try, to try. Okay, not the pains at all. After everything I did, it's alright. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you don't know how to cook. Why did you cook? Leila insisted. You should have made something else. She insisted on jollof rice. And you know your daughter. Whenever she wants something, she always persists. <laughs> you do it for her. Already you know me have black book. A little convincing would have done the magic. I want you to try. Just one day here and my head is ah. jamming already. In all, in all honesty, it has not been easy. But I try. See why you need a partner? You need a woman by your side. I have a woman by my side. My daughter is very okay for me. Oliver, I'm joking right now. I'm not joking at all. I ain't joking either. I am doing well with my daughter. We are taking care of each other. And we are happy. No wahala. Mm -hmm. No wahala. But for me, I resign this very minute. I'm giving up. <laughs> Chicken hearts. That's what you are. <laughs> Maybe next time you try making fried rice and goat meat. Just get me on the front so that I'll become your chair. I think that's the next thing I will give you. <laughs> Lila's cook. Hey, sunshine. My princess. Can you stop pretending? Hmm? I don't want to go. You have to. Uncle John has things to do. And I need to be at the office as well. You have to attend the class. I thought holidays are for enjoyment. Not always, my printant. Okay, I want you to see this in a positive direction. You get to see Nora, spend some time with her even during the holidays. That's the best part. I miss her. You see? So, I want you to go and take your shower, dress up, while I fix her something to eat. Okay, Daddy. That's my girl. <laughs> Hurry up, okay?
I've told you to always knock before entering my room. What is the problem? Dad, please, can you pay for Nora's school fees this term? What's going on? They won't enroll her in another school because her parents can't afford to pay for our new school fees this term. My parents, that's not a bad thing to do. Her father means well. And I think it's better we let him enroll her in a school he can afford. Okay, so I will enroll in the same school with her. What? Dad, Nora is my best friend. In fact, my only friend. I don't want her to go to a different school. But you cannot change your current school. That's one of the best schools around. Okay, Dad, but please let Nora stay. Please. Okay, all right. Uh, that's fine. This is what we'll do. I'll talk to Messia so we can meet her parents. From there, we'll know what to do. Thank you, Daddy. You're <laughs> the best dad ever. Anything for you, my princess. Mm. <laughs> uh, Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you punishing yourself? My princess. You need to be fine. Please.
She has not been talking to me. Is it that serious? Very serious. So what really happened? I don't know. It's still a mystery to me. This minute, we're trying to sort her school fees. The other minute, the little girl is gone. She's gone. God. God. This must really be hard for Leela. My baby is passing through a lot. My daughter is depressed and I don't know what to do. I can understand. Just take it easy, okay? Take it easy. Everything will be fine. Lady! Lila! Lila, what is it? Hello, Sia. How are you? I... I wanted to ask you for a favor. It's about my daughter. She has not been eating well. She has been in her room for days now. I miss my daughter so much. It's about Nora. Okay, I will send you my address right away. All right, thank you very much. to my daughter. She's back. Missia said Nora wants me to be happy. And seeing me sad makes her sad. Ah. <laughs> my baby. That's true. That's true. Thank you very much, Missia. Ah. You don't have to thank me. You're welcome, dear. <laughs> Dad, promise me you never get me a stepmother. Uh. Dad. I... I promise. It's you and I forever. You're the best dad ever. And you're the best daughter ever. I think you. Okay, okay, that's, that's enough. <laughs> I love your bun. Lila, it's time to eat. You need to eat. You're hungry, right? Okay. Up we go. Dad, I'll be back. All right, my love. To the kitchen. So what have
I can't believe my daughter is eating after days of going hunger strike. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. Missia. Yes, baby? I'm full. Already? You didn't even eat much. I'm not all good. Alright, just take that to the kitchen. Why can't you eat more? I'm not all good. I'll be back. Let me go take a shower. Guys? Where did that come from? I'm surprised. I'll be back. Bye, Missia. I'll see you. Did you mean that? Mean what? The promise you made to Leela. You know, I I loved her mother so much, and I lost her in a tragic way. Lila reminds me of Daisy and her undying love for me. I won't be exaggerating if I say that I love my daughter more than life itself. And if being unmarried will make her happy. So be it. Moreover, I never wanted to remarry. Hmm. If this is not father's love, then what is it? <sighs> Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know Lila could listen to anybody else aside me. I just said, let me try, considering the fact that she always speak about you. Really? Yeah. She talks about everything, down to your makeup. <laughs> Lila and her mouth. Anyways, it's you're blessed to have her. She's quite a smart girl. Yeah. She's just like her mother. Nice. Thank you so much for being a good host, sir. Thank you for coming. Your presence has really changed a lot in a short while. I'm honored. I should be on my way now. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. This is my promise to you. On the darkest night, on the brightest day, look around and you will always find me. I've pleaded with her to continue the holiday lesson, but she refused. I don't know. I really don't know. Can you talk to her on my behalf? What do I do? I need to walk. No, I don't. My friend John and Lila, they are cat and rat. They don't meet. But, uh, see, uh, you can be of help. By being her home tutor until school resumes. I know, I know. See, I can pay you well. 100K, 200K, 300K. Just name it, how much? Please, we need you, I need you. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Good night. <sighs> this is my promise to you. On the darkest night, on the brightest day, look around and you will always find me. Cause you my angel. No. Oh, Messia, you're here. Please come in. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, please have a seat. Thank you. Messia! 
look at you. How are you, baby? Six. Bye. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I didn't know you were coming. Um, Kalila, Miss Sia only agreed to this private class last night, and you were already asleep. Okay, let me get my writing tools then. Run along. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I forgot to tell her that you were coming. Ah, no, you don't have to apologize, sir. It's fine. Right. Thank you very much for coming. You don't know how relieved I am. The pay is attractive. <laughs> yeah. All right. I should be on my way. I will be back before you leave. All right, sir. Have yeah. a nice day. You too. Take care. This is my promise to you. On the darkest night, on the brightest day, look around and you will always find me. Cause you are my angel. No. Twenty-five. Twenty-five, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Missia. Yes, baby. My daddy said my mom is in heaven. Is mama in heaven too? <sighs> we are made to believe so. Yes. Nora is in heaven. And of course, she's watching over you and me. Really? Does not mean I can hear and see us? Of course. Can I speak to her? Go ahead. Hi, Nora. I can't see you, but Miss Sia says you can hear and see me. I want to let you know that I miss you. And I'll continue to retain our position as first in class. Take care. That's fine. You feel better now? Yes. <laughs> Didn't finish this up the last time. Okay. It was, I was supposed to write this. Please, I'm done with this one. Okay. So I'll correct this. No. Lila. I said four. Okay. Sorry. Take your time. How was your class today? As good as always. I hope. You did not give me Sia trouble. But Dad, I'm not troublesome. I never said you are. But you can be handful sometimes. I spoke to Noah today. You what? I said I spoke to Noah today. How? Miss Sia said Noah can hear and see us. So, I spoke to her knowing she can't hear me. My printant, Nora is in a different world now. Just like your mommy. You have to let them go. We have no business with them. 
they have no business with us. You understand? Come, let's clear the table. Promise to you on the darkest night, on the brightest day. Look around, you will always find me. Cause you are my A. A stands for acquired I, immune, D, deficiency. My princess. Welcome, Daddy. Fine. Nice. Good afternoon, Uncle John. Yeah. Thank you, Princess. See ya. Sir? This is John, my best friend. Oh. John, this is Sia. Wow. Lila's class teacher oh. and private tutor as well. Oh. Hello. Hey, no, 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 no. Don't distract them, please. Okay? Let's go upstairs. She's beautiful. Yeah, let's go. Thank you. Oh. Dad, is Uncle John moving in? Just for two weeks. Month, rather. They play. Month, rather. Just they play. So, ways of contacting HIV. One, blood transfusion. Oliver, you've not answered my question. What, what question? Who is the quintessential lady sitting in your parlor? John. Yeah. Did you come here to rest from the trauma of your crazy girlfriend? Oh. Or you are here to accumulate more problem? Oh my god. Oliver. I was only appreciating God's creation. Nothing else. Stay away from Sia. Eh? She's not your type. Oliver, but you don't know my type. <sighs> it's all good. Yeah. John. Mm -hmm. You're eating without me. Even when I told you that I'm hungry. I didn't prepare the noodles though. If you didn't, who did? I did. How? Man. I was even as shocked as you are when she served me the noodles. Wait, wait. You let my daughter use the cooking gas? I didn't. Miss Sia taught me how to cook. And she also taught me how to use the cooking gas. So you have nothing to worry about. When was that? Don't worry, Dad. Let me get your food. Very, very delicious. Don't let my daughter use the cooking gas next time. Please. Okay, sir. How is it? Hmm. This is nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> High five. <laughs> I'll be back. This really tastes good. Sure. She really learned well, I must confess.
No, you didn't get the spelling of psychology right. It starts with P. P. S. Yeah. Y. Y. Yeah. C. Mm -hmm. H. Mm -hmm. O. Yes. L. Yes. O G Y. Wow. Yes. <laughs> you got it. Mm -hmm. The best one is physical. P H Y S I C A L. You look excited today. What's the secret? I made food for Dad and Uncle John yesterday. Whoa. You did that? Yes. What did you cook? Noodles. Same way I taught you, right? Yes. Hmm. They loved it. But Dad was scared at first because he told me never to use the gas cooker. Okay. When I used it, I almost burnt down the house. That was the last time you, you, you cooked? Yes. Um. But when I told him that you taught me how to cook, mm. he didn't believe it. But I served him the food. <laughs> nice. You learn it so fast. I'm so proud of you. Me too. I'm proud of myself. You ought to. <laughs> you know what? After class today, I'll teach you how to cook. Right. Hey! Mm -hmm. Can we go now? No. One step at a time. After class, we go to the kitchen. Let's <laughs> go back to work. Okay. Coastal education. Today. Wow! So where is it? It's in the kitchen. Sit down. I'm serving yours. All right. Who will be here waiting? Okay, that. Uh, oh, ma, how do you know I'm famished? Man, famished? <clears throat> yeah. Come on, easy, easy, easy. I can't wait. So she'll take a chill pill, man. <laughs> take a chill pill. Hi. Hi. Hi, beauty. Wow. Hi, 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 hi. This is good. Mm. Thank you. This food is delicious. Mm. Oh my god. Very, very delicious. This is nice. that a complete package if you ask me. Table man that's Uncle John. Lam. Lam. Sia, what about your own food? Wait, me? Um, I, I'll take my food home, sir. Why can't we eat as one big family? No. Please, Miss Sia, join us. Icing on the cake. Slow down, man. <laughs> I must confess, 
this food is very delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you expect? Beauty brain? My baby girl for life. You are my angel. Nothing will ever come in between us for life. Go ball! Nice one. Oliver. Yeah? Yeah. I want to ask you again. What is going on between you and Sia? I have said this like a thousand times. There is nothing going on between Sia and I. Can you just let this rest? Oliver, it doesn't seem like that to me. I think you're in love with that girl. Oh. In love with who? It's obvious now, Mo. What are you saying? It's clear. The way you stare at her, protective and defensive. Come on. You know, you're just making a mountain out of a molehill. I have nothing here for Sia. Yeah, she's a nice person. I'm just trying to reciprocate that. And nothing more. Liar! Oh my, you love that girl. Own it! Bring down your voice. Ah. Lila can hear you. Let her hear. Let her hear. What did they hide? Listen, see her. I just time you go take her. When breeze blue, eh? we go see every. That me the cold things from her. Eh? Now you make your girlfriend debit you. You don't always poke news. You know where? Well. You don't poke news too much. Better mind your business. Be Chris. Oliver, you be Chris. Okay. I beg now, make I watch Paul. You be Chris. You don't talk any half finish now, say you won't watch much happy. Chris say you love baby, the form what you want. <laughs> Where's my little oh, hey. She's in the restroom. You know, your little fight with Leela is really fun and it's unrealistic. I like it though. <laughs> You're right. But you see, I'm her favorite uncle, even though she would never want to accept. So, what do you do when you're not teaching? Clubbing. Wait a minute. What? You're a buddy? Don't I look like one? Hmm. Your composition, disposition and personality is demure. Quite a contrast from what you just said now. You're so funny. <laughs> I look beautiful. Thank you. She knows that. Melissa is one of the most beautiful teachers in our school and she wins a prize every year for the best dressed. Absolutely correct. Uh, I can see. I can see. She's beautiful really. Ready? Yes. Okay. What's going on? Dad, Uncle John is disturbing Melissa. He won't let her teach me. Come on, that's a blatant lie. What are you doing here in the first place? Can't you see they are learning? Oh, I was only. Oh, where would they go? Where would they go? I beg. Where would they go? Assisting them in the learning. Assistant uncle. Bye, Bye. Hey, Layla. Why are you mean to Uncle John? He didn't do that. Oliver. Oliver, wait now, wait, wait, come on, what's the problem? Tell me, what, what's the problem? How do you mean? Oliver, you don't talk to this girl. You don't talk to her and I want to talk to her, yet you're preventing me. Are you a dog in the manger? Why are you here, John? No, remind me, because it seems you have forgotten. Forgotten? Don't even bring that up. Don't even bring that up. I see you no longer need shelter and a place to heal. Stay away from Sia. I will not warn you again. Are you threatening me? What do you tell me? Are you threatening me? How? Come on, see, listen, listen, listen. Look, listen. You know, you know how to ask. So, how is it even better than you? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on,
Good morning, Miss Sia. It's me, Kalila. He's sick. He has been shivering since last night. He's upstairs in his room. I just came down to get him a glass of water. No, he has not. He is nowhere to be found. He has not come home since last night. Okay, Miss Sia. X plus X. Remember I told you whenever you see an X, know we have a one that is not visible. So there is an invisible one before every X. So X plus X equal? 2X. Perfect. <laughs> now we have X plus positive X. Whenever you have two positive in between, you know, numbers. Oh. Dad. My princess, how are you? Fine. You're awake? Yes, I'm awake. How do you feel now? I feel good. At least I can stand now. That's something I couldn't do a few hours ago. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, you're going out? Yes, I'm going to the hospital. Oh. I want to run some tests. Sorry. Dad, can I come with you? No, my love. Just continue with your class, okay? Okay. I'll be back before you know it. Mm -hmm. I want you to stay until I return. Thank you. My baby, I'll be back soon, okay? Daddy loves you. It's fine. Baby, I'll see you soon. Bye, Dad. Slowly. You ready? You want to come back here? Okay. So like I said before, whenever you have two positive in between numbers, turn the positive to what? Negative. Yes, I'm fine. You know you don't have to lie to me. I've been watching you. First, you left the house in the morning and asked me not to leave until you come back. Now you're back. And you're seated here all alone. Doing what? Thinking. Look, I know. I know something is eating you up. You can talk to me. Just go ahead and tell me, what is it? 
I want you to move in with us. Sorry? Yeah, I know that was not the arrangement. But we need you here. <sighs> I want you to be Lila's nanny and our house manager. Look, Mr. Mr. Oliver, it's like you don't get it. I'm, I'm a professional teacher. Like, I wake up, I go to work. I have a career, I have a job. I can't just move in and leave here and forget. But I mean, there's, a, there's a point in which I want to get to. I, I, I can't just quit. I'm not asking you to quit your job. You will just be going from here. Wait, why? So, what do what happens? What's the whole deal involved with this? Leave here. Three hundred k monthly, and you move in with us and retain your job. How I bond, it is so strong. I'll never want to break your heart. I'll be your young lady. What's going on with you? Why is Miss Sia moving in? Because I asked her to. I thought she was here to take me on extra classes while you were away. Yes, that's still the arrangement. The only change here is her moving in. Dad, is there something you're not telling me? Lila, Miss Sia is just here to take care of you. I thought you were fond of her. I am, but I don't like... Lila, please, can we stop dragging this? Okay? Alright, come. Let's go and help her and unpack. Hmm? You know, today is our first day as our housemate. So let's go and help my angel. Come on. Yes, I'm fine. Have you told her? No, 
I couldn't. I just asked her to move in. Move in? Like, she stays here now? Yes. She's in the guest room. I don't see that as helping. I didn't know what to say. She was on my neck to spill. I still do not see that as the best of ideas. However, if you cannot summon the heart to tell her, can I do that for you? Ah, uh, no, no. I will tell her myself. It's okay, it's okay. Just pull yourself together, okay? Everything will be fine. Good evening, Mr. Oliver. Oliver will be fine. Sorry, Oliver. Yeah, so, sounds better. How was your day? Very well. And where is my little angel? Her room. Okay. I... I got you this. Uh, me? Yeah. You got this for me? Yeah. What? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just... Jesus Christ. Wake. Yes. Wait, I'm so cute. Oh my God, an address. Yes. This is my favorite color. Thank you so much, Oliver. I I love this. I want you to put it on tomorrow because I'll be taking you and Leila to somewhere. Thank you so much. I I mean I I appreciate this. Thank you. Hi, Princess, how are you? Thank you, sir. Um, Kalida, I got you a gift. Here. I know you're gonna like it. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be in my room. Say the word since you got here. Don't act like you don't know this look. <laughs> Lila, nothing is happening. Lila, what happened to my princess? I am running late for work. I can't even think straight. That means I'm right. You're always on our cases, maintaining eye contact and all sorts. Who taught you that? I see them in movies. I need to reduce your screen time. Dad, don't change the topic. I'm running late for work, okay? Take my word for it. You have nothing to worry about. Dad. Yes. Are you sure? Daddy will never lie to you. I am ready for work. 
Okay, let me see you off now. That's my angel. <laughs> Come, let's go. Good night. Would you like to watch another movie? I, I would have loved to, but it's late. Tomorrow is Saturday. You have all the day to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, but I'll pass. <laughs> Why is there? You're very beautiful. Are you just noticing? No. I just summoned courage to say it. Lena wouldn't like such compliments. Lila cannot detect my life. You made a promise to her, remember? That was before I realized how much you mean to me. What do you mean? I love you. I'd rather say it now or never. About anything, no need to be acting short as truth. I'm a friend, not a foe. Yeah, I'm not here to take him out. Hey, what are you doing? Taking my supplement. So, why are you hiding it? I wasn't hiding it, I just finished taking it. I Put it back before you cut it. Fight about anything, no need to be acting short as true. I'm a friend, not a foe. Yeah, I'm not here to take him away. I wanna be a part of this family. Can you open up your heart? Oliver, you need to talk to her. Yeah, I intend to, but I don't even know what to say. So what do you want? I want to see her. I really, really like her. Then talk to Leela. Make her understand the decision is for her own good. It's not that easy with Leela. You know, when Nora died, that was a promise I made. I know, I know, Oliver. But you see, Leela is your daughter, and you her father, not the other way around. I understand, but you just need to put her through and make her understand your decision is for her own good. I'm not really against her. I lay her fears, majorly. John, it's not that easy with Leela. It's not. Something I know, Oliver, I know, I know. But uh, you can't continue like this now. Hmm? 
Make her understand. This is for your own good. I am doing this because I love you. You're not doing it because you love me. You're doing it for yourself. That is she will kill me. That will never happen. I will never let anyone hurt you. Then don't marry her. Let's go back to our usual way. Lila, this is beyond me. I wish you can understand me. I knew it. I saw it in her eyes all along. It's sad Nora died the way she did. But that doesn't mean everyone is like Nora's stepmother. Sia is different. You said that yourself. As my teacher, not as my stepmother. That you're not going to marry me, Sia, or any other woman. It's better for the two of us. Oh, yeah, I'm not here to take him away. I want to be a part of this family. Open up your heart oh, I wanna I wanna learn be you hey, hey. wanna care for you wanna care for you give me a chance I wanna hold wanna hold you please don't push me away. thank you Lila, come and join daddy and eat. No, dad, I'm not hungry. this in my food <sighs> see ya see ya hey. baby what's this what's what's the meaning of this wait I'm sorry I don't, I don't... you don't know how he got into my food obviously it's from your hair Babe, I said I'm sorry. Let me just make something else for you too. I said I'm done. Honey, I said I'm sorry. It's just I don't know how we got it. It's a, it's a mistake. Babe?
because of what you read. Ay, Lila. Ha. Why do that? I'm talking to you. Why did you change my channel? My favorite TV show is about to show, so I need to watch it. And you couldn't ask me politely? You just changed the channel I was watching? Why? Put it back. No. Put it back. This is not your house. If you want to watch TV, go to your house. Look. I do not have time for this Satan Trump today. Now, for the last time, put it back. No. Give it, give it to me. Give it, give it to me. Dad! Oh, shut up, spoiled brat. Dad! Because I've been laughing with you in this Dad! house. So please, Dad! I didn't touch you. Dad! Shut up. What is going on here? Can't someone have a moment of peace in this house? Why are you crying? She twisted my wrist and knocked my head. And she collected the TV remote for me. Jesus Christ. Ina! Why would you do that? Wait, wait, you just believe her? You don't, you don't want to know what really happened? You know, you not ask me? I didn't, I didn't even touch her, I just... Is it hot? <laughs> Sorry, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Alright, go to your room. I'll come and massage it for you, okay? It's okay, my love. Sorry. Stop crying. Please, can you come now? I'm coming. My love, please stop crying, okay? <laughs> Come on, see ya. That girl is going through a lot. First, she lost her mom. And then her best friend. And now she feels she's about losing her dad. The only one she has. Who says I want to collect her dad from her? Come on, Oliver, you know how much I love Lila. I, like, I love her the same way you do. See ya. You're spoiling her. See ya, listen. I promise to always listen to you as much as I listen to Lila. Okay? Loving you both dearly and putting your needs first. Please do not give up on us. I feel like a man with two wives. Two wives? Oliver, uh, uh, you don't say. Whenever I'm at home, it's either I am settling one issue or receiving a complaint. <sighs> Is it that bad? It's very bad. Very, very bad. If you were to be around, you would have understood what I'm saying. For real? Wow, 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 wow. But you know, Anita and I just reconciled. And I'm doing everything to be the best man she wants. Good for you. Trust me. You see, Oliver, in all honesty, to be frank, I mean, if we want to be frank about this, you know Leela is an issue. You know. You and I know See as a very nice person. Very nice. I know. I would be lying if I say I don't. Oh, thank God. Uh, then talk to her. Make her understand. You never can tell. You think I have not tried? Okay, fine. Now that you are here, maybe you should also try. It's okay, I'll try. That's not a big deal, I'll try. Hey, by the way, have you spoken to Sia? No, I have not. Why? You, not. you promised you were going to do that two weeks ago. Yes, I wanted to, but these things keep coming up. I will tell her when the coast is clear. Coast is clear, you say? Oliver, time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. I will tell her. I will definitely tell her. That's alright, I'll be fine. Just bro, do. Bro, my head is full. 
I know. Like. Ah. <laughs> Lila alone is enough trouble <laughs> not to talk of. Having the two of them, I can understand, eh? I can understand. Just take it easy. I wanna love. My princess. Yeah. Hi, Uncle John. You really come to my room. I'm sure something brought you here. Yeah. You're not far from the truth. I'm all yours. Okay. My princess. The daddy means well for you. I doubt. You see, your daddy cannot do anything to hurt you, okay? He'll protect you instead. Do you know? Daddy no longer calls me princess. And he doesn't spend time with me anymore. Since she came into this house, everything has changed. But Sia is a very nice person. She's pretending. Just like how Nora's mom pretended. Until Nora's father married her and she ended up killing Nora. And I don't want to end up like that. Exactly. And you'll never end up like that. Okay? Nothing will happen to you. I will personally make sure nothing happens to you. But first, hmm, you must give Sia a chance to be with your daddy. That's one way to know if she's nice or not. But I don't like her and I, I, I don't... Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Please, please, hmm? my little princess, nothing will happen to you, okay? You'll be well taken care of, I promise you that. But she's going to kill me. She won't kill you. She'll take care of you instead. You just said now that since she came to the house, your daddy no longer calls you princess. Meaning, she takes care of your daddy. It's going to be a two-sided thing now. She'll take care of you and take care of your daddy. Bet me. She's a very nice person. Cross my heart. My princess, this is the first time I'm asking you for a favor. Can you grant it, please? Please, you'll never regret it. Trust me. Come on. Give me a smile. Did you? Hey ladies, 
Oliver has something to tell you both. I was diagnosed of coronary artery disease. What's that? Yeah, actually, this is the early stage. Hey, you didn't tell me? Why? I didn't know how to. I was scared. I didn't know how you were going to react. Uncle John, what's happening? Daddy is sick. Sick? Is Daddy going to die? No. No, my baby, come. Daddy will always be with you, okay? Okay, Daddy. But why is everyone panicking? No, we are not. Uh, we are just overwhelmed. I... I knew how difficult it was for me to navigate through life as an only child. And I didn't want that for Lila. That was why I decided to take another wife. Instead of spending money on a surgery I might not survive, leaving my daughter to the wickedness of this world. Leila, all I wanted was for you to have siblings and a mother. When I'm no longer here, I didn't want you to miss me too much. I've always loved Missia from the first time I saw her in your school. But knowing how much you hated the idea of a stepmom, I decided to abide by your rules because I love you. I love you too, Dad. See ya. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I kept you in the dark. I... I was thinking you might not want to be with a dying man. No. Don't say that. Whenever you say that again, you're not going to die. And hey, I will not leave you, okay? We are going to get through this together. Me, you, and Lila. I'm, I'm not going to leave you, babe. You're not going to die. I'm, I'm here with you.
You have brought nothing but joy to us. We feel blessed having you. And we want you forever. Anastasia Donut, please marry me and be the mother of my daughter and unborn babies. Please say yes, Miss Sia. Please. Please. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm not here to take him away. I wanna be a part of this family. Can you open up your heart? 